Well, I'm going to paint the hand up here by the face. And our approach is first to surround the hand with, with uh, color, wet paint, of whatever color is behind it. White parasol hair, shoulder, a little bit of green from the uh, dress, um, the handle of the parasol going through the hand, some background um, poppy flowers in the grass. So we're just going to put some wet color so that the edge of the hand and fingers is all wet and outlined. The wet paint beyond the hand will help us soften the edge of the fingers and the hand when it comes to that to the to the paint. We'll think of the uh, handle of the um, parasol just as part of the hand. Now we're looking for a dark color. We'll adjust the uh, tones we was used just now for other purposes. Some fingernail polish. And give that a quick um, outline. Now there's a bit of a gloss on the fingernail and a little light spot. We want to keep that clear, kind of like in the pupils of the eye, a little shiny place. But be sure to retain the distinctive shape of each nail, which is different. Unique. And it follow, follows also the, the, the orientation of the finger, curved, cold, pointing away. Fingernail lower down is a little darker. Then the others. Got a sliver of a nail. Now in the hand, there are dark creases. Uh, so it's a dark brown, dark orange. On the yellow side, we're dealing with skin, so we make those shadows somewhat yellowish. In fact, I think that can be dark too. Yeah. And then, of course, the digits of the fingers create shadow lines. in the palm of the hand by dark little shadow so we're tracing the creases in the fingers so 
actually a little darker there than I thought. Identify the separate digits and paint them separately. The fingers aren't solid cubes, they are uh, sections. So here is a digit, here is a digit tip of this finger, the whole thing is a digit. And when I brush this tone onto the dark underneath the finger, I need to blend with it a little bit. It's the underside of the finger. Crease coming out of the palm. Thumb has some creases. I think we have almost all of the um, dark features outlined. Well, let's see the underside, the back side of the wrist, and behind the thumb. The edge that's important is the one that touches wet paint beyond the beyond the hand, beyond the wrist. And here too are, you know, folds, creases in the skin. And just uh, outline the um, the whole hand against the wet background paint. <coughs> 